Well, howdy, y'all, and welcome to Let's Investigate Westerado Double Barreled. See, what we got here is a ding dang old dang of sum and done. And we're gonna wrangle them up, fry them up, and put them in the stew. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do that for the rest of the time here, but, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's just pick this back up. So, this is, uh, this is Westerado, double-barreled. Part of you, some people might be wondering, what the hell is Westerado double-barreled? Well, it is a, uh, it is a, similar to, uh, similar to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, uh, it is a, uh, fully remastered version of what was originally a Flash game, um, now for sale on Steam, it, now, yeah, the, yeah, <laughs> by the time this goes up, it'll be on sale. I believe it'll be for sale for fifteen, fifteen dollars uh, U.S., but, uh, if I'm incorrect about that, I'll, I'll put a thing in the description making fun of myself and putting the correct information so that way you are not, uh, misled. So, here's your character here. Uh, for those of you who haven't played the browser game, essentially how this works is, uh, you're living on a nice little homely ranch with your mom and your brother. Your brother's a badass. And, uh, and <laughs> I just really enjoy just pulling my gun out. Uh, and one day, you all of a sudden come back after wrangling a stray calf to discover that your entire family and everything you had destroyed and murdered. And that they're like, he was wearing a hat. So, uh, let me, uh, pull up these, uh, as you can, uh, notice from the things here, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these characters have very basic kind of pixely art style to them. And, you know, I know there's a ton of people, even if you haven't seen this yet, that you're just sort of rolling your eyes, you're just kind of like, oh, it's another game that looks like these. Awesome! But, hear me out. So, the way this game specifically works is that the graphics actually kind of play into the mechanics of the game, because, as far as I remember, whenever you start a new game, the person who was actually the murderer, who you have to go out and seek out in this open-world environment, um, uh, their features are randomized, so you'll help these random people and perform quests to discover who actually did this to you and did this to your family so you can get vengeance and everything and you know one person might be like he was wearing a red jacket or uh in my specific case in a pre previous run through uh it i got a clue that said he was wearing a mexican hat like a very clearly like a hispanic um like sombrero uh and it and i think that's very interesting because it can literally just be anyone anywhere and at any point during any conversation, you can just accuse them of uh, being the murderer and just draw a gun on them. Like right now, I'm just going to do it. That's the spirit. Go out there and find that outlaw. Now I'm going to I'm going to shoot you in the face. <laughs> well, darn it! <laughs> What'd you have to shoot me for? Howdy, nephew. <laughs> Guess the murderer. <laughs> Hey, it ain't gonna go well. <laughs> Can I shoot his ghost? Wow, I actually wasn't expecting that to happen. Nope, I can't. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? That's a, that's a pretty cool uncle, is one who forgives his nephew even when you shoot him in the face and he's a ghost now. <laughs> that's so amazing. Oh, yeah, that's another kind of interesting thing is, uh, since, you know, it's the old western times... You have a uh, you have a revolver, not a revolver. You have a you have a six shooter, and um, uh, you fire bullets individually, you know, and that plays into the combat a little bit. Well, I put I put combat in sort of uh, in sort. You can't run and shoot, by the way. Uh, I put combat in quotation marks because it's 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 very it's very baseline and kind of clunky. But it's intentionally so. It, you know, like... And now I'm out of bullets. Uh, so you have to hit R to put bullets back in your gun. But see, right now I only have two. 
and in the meantime, people could be shooting at me, and I have to dodge and weave away from their bullets. It's it's a fun little thing to make it so it, uh, combat is actually a bit more of a hassle and uh, takes some actual thinking to get through. Because, you know, it's, it's old and western times, and you're going to be having shoots out with folks and, and whatever, and, and you'll save the cattle and the day, and everyone will be super happy with you. And... Like, you can literally basically go anywhere. There are very few doors or gates or anything that locks you off. You can walk in the middle of town. You can technically just shoot anybody. But upon <laughs> upon pulling out your gun, anyone else who has a gun is going to immediately pull out their guns. Which I think is hilarious. <laughs> I think that's super funny. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, stranger. Do I know you? Don't believe so. Ain't you that rancher boy from down south? Uh, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. You know, uh, your younger brother, I heard the ranch got raided by bandits and set fire. I wonder if any of them survived. It doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah. I did survive. I heard there's been an awful lot of fighting about the land these days. Um, you want to check out the other ranches. Keep your eyes and ears peeled. Yeah, this is sort of like a tutorial guy, more or less. Who's this asshole? Have you heard about the Bonafide Bandit? Bonafide Bandits? Who? Bonafide Bandits. They're a gangster from long ago. And quite, I can't read properly, so I'm taking some amount of the drama out of it. Uh, let's see here. But most folk are at sea. Blah, 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 blah. A lot of cash somewhere in the dark. I think that's actually somewhere in a cave that I found a little further on. So I think that it was you. <laughs> I just, I, I, I love that. I love how you can just, like, just pull a gun on anyone. It's, uh, this is a, it's a very interesting game, and you can also talk to the sheriff and everything, uh, get all kinds of clues. If you're interested in just, like, uh, a nice little open world, uh, sandboxy, sandboxy, uh, spaghetti western, it's, uh, uh, it can be a lot of fun to just sort of mess around with this. Uh, so I should clarify, though, it is a bit on... Wow, that is a little loud. I hope you can still hear me. <laughs> um, uh, as you'll notice in the top left, uh, I have three hats. And that's, uh, that's how many hits I can take before I will just instantly die from taking a bullet to the face. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You can buy more hats from this lady here. Wait, is that, uh... Blah, blah, blah. No. There was, uh... There was somebody I ran into who was having trouble with their drunken husband. Man of mystery. Backstory. See the saloon owner. Did it have fun? Rodeo. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um... So wait a minute, has this been randomized too? Ain't no. Sure think. Uh, can I pull a gun on you? <laughs> no, but all the girls pull out guns too. And they have way bigger guns than I do too, so. Alright. Uh, darn wife. Oh no, that was the that was the person I helped prior, so I guess. Um so that's maybe one of the few things I am actually somewhat unclear on, is I'm the slightest bit unclear on how it saves your progress. Because I died and I ended up back at my uncle's ranch. But... Um... But I thought, like, all my progress had been restarted, but I, I guess not. I guess it saves whatever quests you already completed. Which is pretty cool. Oh, hey, bunch of fucking money. Thank you. It's awful nice of you, darn tootin'. 
terrifying news. What news? There's whispers saying Indians have come, <laughs> have moved close to these parts. Oh no, what will ever happen if Indians come here? They're so scary. <laughs> they might relinquish their land unwillingly. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I really can't express how fun I think this game kind of is. And if you're... I, I don't really know if there's a demo available for this game or not. Uh, if there isn't, I'm pretty sure the browser game is probably still available. You really might want to take a look at that. This is... Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned this at the start, but this is uh, developed by uh, Ostrich Banditos, uh, which is a name I love. And uh, it's published by... Uh... Oh, he kind of sits down. I didn't know about that. Like, look at all the motion on screen. It just looks great. There's a lot of detail. Um, but it's published by Adult Swim Games, and uh, I'm pretty sure the browser game's probably still up. Uh, take a try at that if you're at all curious about it, because it... Because it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and they've uh, they've added extra save slots, and I believe they've added new characters to uh, flesh out the story more. Because it randomizes the person who did it, but it, but I don't believe it. Uh, but I don't. Uh, I don't believe. Uh, it randomizes what actually happened. So, uh... Well, <laughs> I love how they just will randomly pull out their guns on each other. It's it's cute. It's cute. Um, I don't know, man. It's a bit of a tricky situation, because ultimately, I don't really want to... I don't really... Yeah, this was another lady that I helped, because she wanted to mourn her husband, but uh, a bunch of dudes were, like, fucking with the gravestones and shit. So I helped out. Um, I don't really want to spoil a lot of the game because uh, because there's a lot here. I really can't express that enough. Is that there is a lot here, uh, especially for um, ten, fifteen bucks or whatever that this ends up selling for. I can't really. Yeah, here are some of these bandits that I shot dead, which was super fun. You know, murdering people is always is always a fun little experience in a video game. Thank God they offer it. I don't think you can shoot wildlife as far as what I've seen so far. Um, I'm going to accuse this guy. What are you talking about? I'm going to pull the gun. Cock the gun. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, I'm the man here. I... <laughs> I'm a big boy. Uh, yeah, it's just there's there's a lot here, and I, I don't really know how much of it I really want to spoil, necessarily. It's just, it's a fun little game. All this music is great. You looking for trouble? No, I'm not. Oh, the beefhead bulls. I'm gonna... You got five guns pointed at you right now. <laughs> really want to do this? Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. I hit the wrong button. Nice. Nice. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. I wanted to show a little bit of combat before I did anything else. Whoo! Nice. Nice. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit! Yeah, I killed them all. I'm a hero. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a fun little spaghetti western. Look at all this. I might have even killed the murderer just now. I don't know. <laughs> the world is your oyster. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh.
Nice. Oh, and you can get other people's hats. I was not aware of that. That's actually awesome. Interesting. I guess so you can go like a non-lethal route if you're interested. That's fun. I like it. Oil tycoons. See, look at all this. There's so much here. Easy. I want to see the oil tycoon. Ah, you're in luck, good buddy. He's up the stairs. Awesome. Wow, look at all these dudes. I like this goofy music, too. And what you got? Uh, plenty of land. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Looks like there's mystery a brewing. I bet he's probably a bad guy. <laughs> I love how my character is just kind of sitting there. <laughs> he's like, take me, Mr. Oil Tycoon. But yeah, see, it's just, it's a fun, goofy little game. I can't stress enough that this is a lot of fun. Take a try at it if you haven't had a chance at it just yet. Try out the browser game if you're curious about whether or not you'll actually enjoy it. You can rebind the keys as uh, 1280 by 720 resolution for window, and then I think it has 1080p for full screen, I believe. Not 100% sure on that, but I uh, believe that's the case. And you can also change the size of the window if you don't like it. Um, yeah, and you can rebind the key bindings and everything, so that's always great, too. Yeah, it's just, it's just a goofy little game. Uh, take a try at it if you haven't yet. Westerado, double-barreled. Can't pimp this game enough. It's a lot of fun. I'll see y'all next time. Take me, Mr. Oil Tycoon. Right here, in front of all your men. I reckon.